so I'm having to whisper, so please excuse the sh As I'm recording from my webcam this time, instead of my DSLR, like I'd done in part one. I just didn't want to be too loud. I'm back again. As you can see, we're just we're safe. Chuck got this stuff was from the book Michael Jackson was my lover, as you saw in the receipts. Now, I do not have a copy of that book in particular. It's actually too expensive for me to even buy. Mm -hmm. Not that I would even really want to except maybe for comparison purposes to see where they get that nah, where they get those nasty disgusting ideas from accusing michael of being unclean like going to the bathroom all over his house or <coughs> up his clothes that's right accusing him of sh up his clothes all the time but in reality, those who knew him have said that all those accusations that were made against him in that book, accusing him of not only the bathroom accidents, were all false. And given all the employees there, they would have eventually caught it had he done half of the things that he was accused of. I'm talking about the sexual stuff and the other stuff I just mentioned. But all those who worked with him had said that he had girlfriends. That's right. Girlfriends. That's right. He was straight. But always seemed to desire that spiritual connection. As would as would I, and so does just about everyone else. Whatever their affectional or sexual or romantic orientation might be. We've already spoken about Victor Gutierrez's book, Michael Jackson Was My Lover. I had already shown receipts comparing where James Safechuck had gotten his ideas of the molestation from. Since I don't own a copy of the book myself, even though I had originally planned to boycott that doc, felt a little guilted into watching it, but was also curious to see, you know, what exactly are we up against? And is it as one-sided as they're claiming? And it turns out, yes, it was. And this is why I'm doing my part in making this video series to help spread the truth about the inconsistencies. Not only that, but the holes in the story of what's purposely being left out. Anything that would contradict the narrative that they have tried to spin. And to show you why I do not believe Robson or Safechuck. 
that's right. It is just those two men that I do not believe. Nor do I believe... Well, the Chandlers, it's proven that they had lied and f forced their son, Jordy, to do it, which is why he ran away. And I hope he is doing okay now. I do not wish harm on any of those people at all. And Gavin, or Vizo, it has been proven that that family has had a history of lying too. I will cover that later. But I do not wish them any harm either. And I hope Gavin is okay. Enough of that, and back to the topic at hand. Victor Gutierrez's book, Michael Jackson Was My Lover. So, Michael sued him and won the suit. But instead of paying Michael what Victor owed, he fled back to Chile. And he has not come back to America since, from what I hear. And that does not look very good, does it? Yet, people like Diane Diamond and Rob Zonin and all are still believing that he is a reliable source, all based off a book, based off a secret diary that has not existed. At least as far as what people could find. Anyhow, I'll show you some more receipts of this.